Welcome to the recap of the White Sox 5-2 loss to the Detroit Tigers on Friday night at Guaranteed Rate Field. Loss number 98 on the season. I'm David Kaplan. It's brought to you by our great partners at Wintrust. They are the exclusive home of White Sox checking. Scan the QR code on the screen. Click the link or go to Wintrust.com slash White Sox for all the details and getting your very own White Sox checking account. Folks, the one thing you don't want as a White Sox fan is to set the all-time record for losses in a season. 120, the 62 Mets, is what it is right now. So the Sox lost their 98th game of the season tonight. They have 34 games left, so let's do the math together. That means you don't want to get to 121. That means out of the remaining 34, you've got to win 12. That would tie the record. You've got to win 13 to leave the Mets with the all-time record. You win 11, that means that you have 11 and you have 23. 23 to your 98 gets you to 121, you lose. So you've got to win 12 ball games. I don't think they can do it, but let me just tell you something right now. If this is where it's headed and this is where it goes, Jerry Reinsdorf, this falls right on your desk. And if you're mad at me because I'm telling the truth, there's nothing I could do about it. It's a civic embarrassment that you have allowed this to happen to your once proud franchise. You've got a fan base that's passionate. There's more Sox fans out there than you realize. And the fact that you've allowed this thing to be this big a train wreck falls at one spot, right at your desk. How could you possibly allow a team to set the all-time record because you guys don't spend enough money, you guys do a lousy job at putting your rosters together? It's embarrassing. It really is. The loyalty that you show to your employees is admirable. But how about the loyalty to your fan base? Your fans deserve better. 5-2 loss tonight to a lousy Tiger Club. By the way, no Javi Baez tonight. He's undergoing test for an undisclosed ailment, so he was not in the lineup and was not in the locker room when the media was there before the ball game. He's having test run. They said they'll have more info uh, for the media on Saturday. So again, Chris Flexen gave you six innings. He was fine. He is the Chicago Land and Northwest Indiana Chevy Dealers White Sox player of the game. Uh, Corey Lee came up with an RBI and so did Lenin Sosa, and that is it. White Sox lose 5-2 to the Tigers. 121's going to stare you in the face and it falls at one man's desk. Take that.